skeletons, fossils. Galatins, Apostles of St. Paul, St. Paul an Apostle not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. God who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren that which are with me unto the churches of Galatea. Grace be with you, peace from God, the Father, the Spirit, and the Holy Ghost, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, and that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and to our Lord and Savior to whom be glory forever and ever Amen I marvel that ye are so soon removed from the devil and call unto you with the grace of God another gospel which is not another, but there will be some that will trouble you and will prevent you with the gospel of Christ, the Lord and Savior. But through we, an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. We say it before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then you have received, let him be an accursed. As only angels drop down to the gossip. For do I now pursue men or God, or do I seek to please mankind? For if I yet please the world, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I am certain to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after mankind. But I neither received it, neither was I taught it, by the revelations of Jesus Christ. For ye have heard my conversation in time past, and the Jewish religion of Jews, how that beyond measure I prosecute the church of God, and wasted it, and profit from the Jews' religion above many my equals in mine own nation and more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of God. When it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal the Son of God in me that I might preach him among the heathen I conferred not with the flesh and blood neither went I up to Jerusalem which were apostles before me and I went to and turned again around there after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see St. Peter and abroad them with 15 days <coughs> <coughs> but others of the apostles saw I none save St. James 
the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God I lie not. Afterwards I came unto the regions of Sicilia and Syrah, and was unknown by the face unto the churches of Judas, which were in Christ. But they had heard only, and that which prosecuted us in times past of the faith that once was destroyed, and they glorified God in me when they prosecuted us in times that have passed already. Then fourteen years after I went up again to Jerusalem, I went by the revel revel re revelations and communicated unto them the gospels. which I preach amongst the Gentiles, but privately to let them know which were, lest by any means I should run, or had run in vain. But neither Titus, who was with me being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unaware brought to, brought in who came in privately to spy out our liberty which we had in Jesus Christ and they might bring us into bondage to whom we gave place by subjection not for an hour that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. But of these who seem to be somewhat whatsoever they were, no matter to me, God accepted no man's person, for they who seem to be somewhat added nothing to me when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcised circumcision was committed unto me as the gospel the circumcised was unto St. Peter another Lord Peter Proverbs The apostles of the circumcised and the same was mighty toward the Gentiles. And when the Saint Lord James, Cyphus, and Saint Lord John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and barbarous the right hands of fellowship that we should go on to the heathen and they on to the circumcision of circumcised. Only they would should remember the poor the same which I also was towards to do. But when Peter was to the face I understood him because he was to be blamed for before that certain came from James he did not eat with the Gentiles but he withdraw and separated himself fearing them which were one of the circumcised and the other Jews dis dis dismembered 
likewise with him. A barbarous also was to carry away their dismutilations. But when I saw that they walked out uprightly according to the truth of the Gospels, I said unto St. Lord Peter, My capellus to the Gentiles to live as to the Jews. We who are Jews by the nation are not sinners to, of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. When we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if while we seek to be justified by Christ and blood, we ourselves also found sinners, and therefore Christ, the minister of sin, God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressioner transgressions for I saw I threw the law and I'm dead to the law and I might live on to God I'm crucified with Christ I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I, but Christ lived with, within me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, God who loved me and gave His begotten Son for my sins. And I do not frustrate the grace of God and the mercy of God, but if righteousness come by the law, and Christ is dead in vain. Alright, good night. God bless.